Oh, did you name your potion? Or are you going to put it in your tomb? Oh, that's right. I guess I can put it in the tomb, can I? I was just going to hang it up on the wall as a lesson to others. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that makes sense. All right. I'm going to make... So this is, some, this is the idea I was toying with, was that... Um, because you know how I, I was liking the ups and downs of the graveyard? Mm -hmm. I was going to make a little tunnel that goes in a little bit. So you kind of have like a catacombs. Oh. Yeah. So I'm trying to think where I want to have this catacombs. I'm thinking I'm just going to have it right here, like underneath my thing. So are you good if I grab some iron bars and finish up the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, here. You want some? I, I just grabbed them myself. Where are you? Oh, going? okay. Yeah. I was just going to do it after I finish this. I thought you were going to work on your cow altar, Moo. I, I I am not prepared to work on my cow altar. Like all right. I said, all I have left is the redstone piece, and I'm not going to sit here and try to figure that out. Okay, okay, I gotcha. It's, I mean, everybody knows that I'm bad at redstone as it is. Everybody. It's, it's no reason to, you know, prove it for the next hour. <laughs> <laughs> Where I can do things that I know how to do, and that's place iron bars. I'm good at that. I'm helping. I am helping. What's the battle? What's that from? Huh? That's from um, Simpsons. Yeah, I thought that was Ralph, but I. Yeah. He's like, did that student just say what's a battle? No, he said, uh, what's that rattle? Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Still one of my favorite lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ralph is the best. Whoops. Ralph is the best. Those darn pink ghost flowers are back. Oh yeah. I'm not even going to leave them alone. I'm just going to let future uh, yeah. descendants deal with the, this issue. What is this stuff? It keeps coming back. Ghost flowers, man. Can't get rid of them. Go. Ghost flowers. Whoops. I'm pretty sure I'm like underneath the house at this point. No, actually, um, probably not. But I'm gonna get there. You are relatively close. Hang on, I'll take a look here. That's okay. I want to know now, though. Oh. I don't see your name anywhere. Where are you? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> yeah, I don't see you at all. Okay. I'm going to branch it out like a T kind of thing. Have you ever read the uh, short story, The Cask of Yamantelado? I Edgar have Allen not. Po? No. That good is one I have not read. Good old Edgar Allan Poe. I do like me some Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Edgar Shoot. But I have not read that. It is uh, wha the the short story that basically opened my eyes to how wonderful writing is. Um, my grade eight teacher made us read it, and then I like I read it before in grade seven because for whatever reason we read it back then as well, and didn't quite understand what the heck was going on. Namely, because my English was not very good back then, anyways. Um, <laughs> and then. The, or at least my reading comprehension wasn't that great, I guess. And I wasn't really paying attention while I was reading it. You know, a combination of stuff. Sure. Uh, and then, the my grading teacher, he not only had us read it, but he then went through every single little bit of symbolism and foreshadowing and all your literary devices, what have you. But he went through every single one in the book, and it was absolutely amazing. Hmm. Uh, it like opened my eyes. I was just like, "Whoa! So these things can have meaning, you know, that kind of stuff." And yeah, and so I always think about. It. But the um, the story is set primarily inside of catacombs, and it's two guys who are walking through the catacombs together. And uh, the cask of the Amontillado, the the titular cask of the Amontillado. Uh, refers to a cask of wine that, because, you know, you also store wine in catacombs. Sometimes it just happens to be, you know, the best, uh, 
what have you for it, right? Sure. Uh, so he he's leading the guy through this tomb, and uh, the guy one of the other guy thinks that he's taking him to get him to check out this wine, when in actuality he's leading him to his death. Whoa. Yeah. Well, that ain't cool. Well, you know, it's Edgar Allan Poe, right? So that is true. That is true. He's a he's 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 a little on the on the death side, a little on the dark side. <laughs> he's a little on the death side. Man, so there's this uh, movie, Requiem for a Dream, right? Oh yeah. I watched it when I was in grade twelve. Oh y wow! How are you still a normal person? <laughs> I think I just didn't get it. Because uh, uh, I was talking to some friends the other day, and they're talking about a particular scene in it, um, the uh, the the butt to butt part. I was just, you could have just said the end. <laughs> was that the end? That is by the end, I believe. Okay, so maybe I didn't even get to that part. So, anyways, <laughs> I I didn't remember that part at all, and I was just kind of like, oh, okay. Maybe you watched some sort of awesome edited for footage, censored and version. Didn't have to like. Just be completely like, oh, wow. Because here's the kicker. I watched it for uh, a film studies class. Oh, wow. Kind of like a book report. Like you pick a film and then you do a, like a report on it. Yeah. And it was like, I think it was like on the list of recommended ones. So I'm just kind of like, okay, I'm doing it. From what I understand, I mean, it's a, a heck of a movie. Right, oh. right. It's pretty deep and stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, just. <laughs> it's deep and stuff. Uh, I made myself laugh. <laughs> oh, it's so horrible. Okay, we have the beginnings of a stable. Cool. How stable is it? Um, it's a bit wobbly. <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay. Cool. I'm going to put some lights on top of it here. Uh, might do a roof down the like an actual neat looking roof down the line, but right now it's just covered. Because that's what we need. Okay. Sounds cool. It's a giant block of wood is what it is. But like I said, it should do the trick. Most horses have changed and... I don't... I don't know. I don't mess with horses enough anymore. You... What? Don't mess with yes. horses. That's just... I mean, I understand you're a cow and all, but... We try to stay to our own kind. Yeah. I don't want to be the guy, but sometimes you just got to be the guy. Let's get some wheat. Wheat would be sweet. We should probably go and get some new horses and bring them back. The bad thing about that creeper um, taking care of old Trebek there is that I didn't get to keep his saddle because I didn't realize he was gone. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, we can we can probably grab the leads and just yank some things back, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that would be how it would have to go down. And as much as I would love to do that, I have to, I have to be done. Oh, you're heading out? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm pretty much done with this area, I think. I'm just going to do a little bit more. Do you want to come take a peek? Oh, wow. Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this middle area and then branch it off that way and then take this area and branch it off that way. I'll probably just do one side right now, like a little – I'll probably do this side, actually, um, and then just push it off that side. Actually, no, I'll do this side, whatever. Uh, and then it just <laughs> gives future people an idea of what it should look like. I don't think you're – I don't think I'm within the graveyard anymore. No, you're not within the graveyard, but you're not under the house yet either. Yeah, so if the branch ends there and then starts – like, I, that's why I want to move that way because they'll be underneath the waters kind of thing. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, because then they won't really get in the way of anything. I was going to change the floor into cobble as well and then just make uh, a little – another little sconce that way, and then I'll put the little memorial plaque down. Trebek. <laughs> oh, poor Trebek. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, good session. We're still alive. Yeah. 
somehow. I'm going to take a look at your casket right now. <laughs> I just want to see. Yep, yeah, there it is. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you already put the leather in. Nice. I had a spare piece on me, so I just threw it in there. Did you want to put, like, a steak in, like, a bucket of milk or anything like that? Uh, at some point, sure. Sure. It's just, like, a whole bunch of things. Just a bunch of random stuff. Yeah. All the things that make me <laughs> steak, leather, bucket of milk. What is? There's nothing in mine right now. I have no idea what to put in here anyway. Fill it with pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything better, quite honestly. Fill it with pumpkins. Uh, uh. All right, well, I'll head out of here. Okay, where are you going to log off? Just Probably so. back in the... Uh, House would be safe, yeah. House would be the safest, yes. I agree. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'll see you later. Bye, have a good dinner with your mom. Thanks.